There's a, a very deep tension running in the world between human sense making and artificial sense making. And um, the semantic web being kind of the biggest human sense making project that's all about putting machine readable data on websites and making it so that we can infer things about the information contained therein. Um, but um, that, that project is the only thing I think that can save our humanity from something like AI, which is, I mean, I could get into a lot more, but AI is really just about reading the patterns of old and replicating them into the future. And the problem with the patterns of old is that they're mostly oppressive and horrible to lots of people. And, you know, so um, there's going to be a future in which the data that we're creating in this space and in others is leveraged by AI and big data and big planning in order to optimize and, you know, do things to try to meet probably big global carbon emissions targets and things that are very coarse and abstract that are going to harm real people lower down. So we're in kind of a guerrilla war slash race against those forces to build as much human sense making capacity and understanding in the meantime so that when that starts to happen, I mean, it's already happening, but when it, when it happens more and more that there starts to be sense making for people at the bottom so that they can see and respond to the changes that are affecting them.